Welcome to This Week in Real Estate. I'm Roger Soderstrom. My wife, Tansy, and I, owners of Sterling Sotheby's International Realty, hope that you will enjoy today's show. This Week in Real Estate has been designed to showcase the finest luxury products, services, and real estate offerings. I'm pleased to introduce our host, Megan Clinton. Hi, I'm Megan Clinton, your host for This Week in Real Estate. Welcome to our show. Each week, I'll lead you on a tour of properties for sale in your area. In addition to the hottest new properties in your marketplace, our special guests will share their insights on how to make your house a home. So whether you're interested in buying or selling, or just curious, we're glad you joined us. So stay tuned, we'll be right back. Have you ever thought of luxury fractional ownership? If you have, one name stands out above the rest. We recently sat down with John Goodman, Regional Director of the Ritz-Carlton Club, to ask him a few questions and to find out what makes the Ritz-Carlton experience so special. The concept of the Ritz-Carlton Club is disarmingly simple. Enjoy all the benefits of a second home without the usual responsibilities. Enhanced immeasurably by the luxury hospitality and services that have been perfected by the world's premier hotel company. Your deeded fractional interest is yours to enjoy and you may bequeath it to your heirs. That is a scenario no other second home can offer at any price. For information on the Ritz-Carlton Club or to schedule an appointment, call John Goodman. Welcome back to This Week in Real Estate. I'm Megan Clinton. Everyone loves a parade, so I know you're going to love our properties on parade. Let's get started and see what's new on the market. This secluded lakefront home is listed below appraisal. Live on Lake Inwood in the spacious five bedroom, three bath residence that includes an attached in-law suite. The main home's split bedroom plan comes with an inside laundry room, a dual-sided fireplace, and a large kitchen with a breakfast bar. After a long day, relax in the master bath showcasing double vanities, a large garden tub, and a separate shower. You can enjoy the wonderful views from the extra-large great room or open the French doors and walk out to the wooden deck areas and the luxurious spa. Additional features include a loft, two-car garage, Spanish tile, and more. To receive more information on this one-acre property, call Kara Reed today. Enjoy luxury living in this executive two-story traditional home. Recently remodeled, this house features beautiful Brazilian cherry hardwood floors, travertine, new stainless kitchen appliances, and double-sided fireplaces. The master suite has a beautiful bathroom with a spa tub, separate walk-in shower, and walk-in closets. Upstairs, you'll find a media room as well as two additional bedrooms and a bath. Lush landscaping embraces the lanai, saltwater pool, and spa with an interior remote control. This home truly has it all. It's set in an exclusive gated community just minutes from downtown, signature dining, shopping, and more. Schedule a private showing with Candace Martinez of the Global Real Estate Team. Located on a chain of six lakes, you can enjoy three floors of waterfront views in this mansion home. Experience resort-style living on over 4,000 square feet of Chinese travertine marble pavers, forming the outdoor entertainment area with a spa, heated pebble tech pool, and stairs leading to the beachfront seawall and boat dock. Wrought iron staircases adorn the grand entry, while a fireplace creates a warm place to gather in the family room. Cooks won't want to miss the gourmet kitchen with a wine cooler, designer appliances, and marble counters. Retire to the master suite with a balcony, jacuzzi tub, dual shower heads, and more. Watch your favorite films in the home theater with a 116-inch screen, Pioneer sound system, and leather reclining chairs. Contact Danny Veal today. For more information on any of these properties, please visit SSIRTV.com.
Whether you're entertaining guests or feeding your family, we could all use some inspiration in the kitchen. Let's see what our chef is preparing this week to get some more ideas on how to make your house the home of great food. Hi, I'm Scott Newman, executive chef of Ovo Restaurante. Let's continue today's recipe on rockfish ceviche. Now I'm going to finish making the ceviche. That fish has been marinated. I'm going to add some of the red, chopped red onion to it. Tomato. Our fresh jalapeno. Oh, I like it a little spicy, so we'll add a little more. Some avocado. And chopped fresh cilantro. Now I have drained the, the lime juice off of the ceviche. I'm going to add a little more just to bring up the flavor. So I'm going to add a little bit of lemon and a little bit of lime. And to finish off, a little bit of capers. And to season the dish, some kosher salt. Now to present this dish, I've chosen a nice martini glass. I've got some shredded romaine that I'm going to put in the bottom. That'll help absorb some of the liquid from the ceviche. I'm going to put my ceviche up on top of that. Mound up a good portion. Ceviche is traditionally served with tortilla chips, but I'm going to do something a little bit different today and use plantain chips. So I've got a couple of uh, nice surfboards here. I'm just kind of tuck those into the ceviche and it's ready to serve. And that's how we make one of my favorite recipes here at Ober Restaurante. Join us next week for another great recipe. Did you know that using the auction process is becoming a popular way to sell or buy a property? We had a chance to ask the experts from Sterling Sotheby's International Realty everything you wanted to know about property auctions. Good morning, my name is Lori Chips. Welcome to the show. Good morning, my name is John Chips and we are the directors of auction services for Sterling Sotheby's International Realty. We'd like to spend a few moments with you this morning and talk to you about the benefits of selling your real estate using the auction method. And John, I guess the question I probably hear more than any other is, what do I need to do to in order to register to bid? Basically, what they need to be prepared to do is come forth that day and agree that they will put forth the required amount of deposit in order to bid in the form of a cashier's or bank check. And then upon being the winning bidder, and only if they're the winning bidder, they agree that in advance they'll close in 30 days or less. Remember, the benefit to the buyer is you get to set the price with your peers on auction day, standing shoulder to shoulder, live bidding. The benefit needs to be there for the seller too, and what the seller wants to do is sell sooner than later. That's why he's offering the opportunity for you to bid on his property. John, how much is that cashier's check? The cashier's check vary based on the projected selling price of the property. Oftentimes on a more expensive property, the cashier's check needs to be larger because we want to make sure that we're delivering a qualified quality buyer to our seller. So the price range may be anywhere on the low side. $5,000 and on the high side, depending on the property, as much as $50,000 in advance. The buyer can be assured that they'll be bidding on a level playing field. From an auctioneer's standpoint, the worst thing that can happen the day of an auction is to have someone raise the bidding that ultimately will not transact on the property. So in order to prevent that, everybody comes forth with a cashier's check or a bank check and everyone agrees to the terms and conditions prior to the time that the auction starts. Thank you for spending time with us this morning. My name is Lori Chips. And I'm John Chips, and we look forward to seeing you again next week on This Week in Real Estate. For more information, call John or Lori Chips 